hey it is a vlog day everyone i am rocky and thank you so much for joining my channel so today i'm going to take you along well i'm going to do this i think over two days because i have a few things happening i'm getting dressed now i look kind of blue it's just the lighting well today we are going to do a couple errands and i am doing a photo shoot and a video shoot so um I haven't taken professional shots, so I'm going to be taking professional shots. My husband got me um, a Christmas gift last Christmas for headshots and a video. And I have not, I'm just now getting around to, um, let's turn this music down. So I haven't gotten around to um, taking these until now for several reasons. One, at the time when I first got it, you know, it was winter one and then Two, my skin was rebelling against me. I just didn't feel comfortable taking pictures. And then Corona hit. So now kind of, well, Corona's still around, but at least we've learned how to navigate it a bit better. So I'm going to be able to take the, the pictures and the video today. So I have my outfits all set. Hopefully I'll be able to take a little bit of footage of it so you can kind of see the process. And um, finally go get this P.O. box this morning. Um, you'll notice, <laughs> of course, um, Skin was fine, everything was fine all the way up until last night. Last night I started to get, um, you can see the swollen, it's not a pimple yet, but it's swelling. So yeah, I don't know if it's gonna show up on pictures or not, but it's swelling as if it wants to be a pimple. Great, perfect, all the way up until last night. And then this morning my eyelashes decided they wanted to bother me. So now I have this redness to this one eye. And I don't know. So I've put some drops in. We'll see if that gets better. But let me hurry up and throw some clothes on. I have a 10 o'clock appointment with the UPS store. And then um, I'm probably going to go to Nordstrom Rack to pick up the jeans that you guys saw, saw me go get altered. And then head over to the video shoot. Tomorrow I have a surprise for you. So I'm not going to tell you just yet. You're just going to have to follow me along so you can see something I've been talking about for years. <laughs> and we'll see. All right, All right. Um, we have the outfit of the day. I still have my hair covered. I'm not ready to do anything with my hair yet, but outfit of the day, I can't remember if you have um, if you guys have seen me haul this in the past year or two, but this is some sweatshirt. I don't even know what this is, but this is a meow sport. <laughs> uh, but I thought it was really cute, little cropped, um, little cropped hoodie. And um, my, one of my favorite pair of jeans, these page denim jeans, they're kind of uh, cropped and distressed here. Um, underneath, I just have a racer back uh, tank top. And then um, these boots, dream, dream boots, um, my Doc Martens. Uh, these are navy blue, and then I have them with some random polka dot socks but that's my outfit for the today i am extremely late for my day which is no different from any um any other day i'm always late for things and then i stop to talk to you how smart is that anyway so let's get going so we finally made it in the car i am beyond late for my appointment looks like a gorgeous day out today to be honest so hopefully the weather continues to cooperate today um, I'm so excited about today. <laughs> nervous and excited because nervous because my um my body seems to want to rebel against me. My eye is red. My skin wants to start to break out. I found another blemish that's starting right here. I don't know what's going on, but uh, yeah. So. Anyway, I just wanted to say that we made it into the car and making strides. The other thing I wanted to mention is today is my first day wearing the Doc Martens that you saw in my outfit of the day. And my word, this leather is so tough. It's so hard. I don't know. I don't know what I mean. I'm wearing them. Um, they're on my feet, but the leather is so hard. Oh, my gosh. So... I'm going to have to probably punish myself for a little while to get this leather to be comfy. Um, I understand that it molds to you after some time. It kind of breaks in and becomes beautifully comfortable. But for now, it is hard and it hurts. Um, that's the same thing that happened with my, um, my Valentino boots. I only wore them once because they hurt so bad. I just 
can't think of fathom putting them back on to go through that again but I have to wear them to get the the leather to be supple so I'm in in between a, a rock and a hard place it's similar to um shock sneakers shocks the Nike shocks I don't know if you guys have ever worn those with the springs in the heel like when you first get them those springs oh my goodness ouch but after some time, they are the best thing since sliced bread. They feel so, so, so good. Um, but it's getting through that break-in period. Ugh, I hate breaking in. Breaking in, I hate breaking in mostly anything. So anyway, I just wanted to share that bit with you. So just know, in the back of my mind, as we're going throughout the day, I am in pain. <laughs> my feet hurt. <laughs> the leather at the top of these boots will not move. All right. Okay. You probably wouldn't believe me if I told you this, but despite having an appointment to set up a P.O. box, I still don't have a P.O. box. The store, I don't know if it's the manager or what, you appear to be the manager, um, came out and told me, he's like, oh, I emailed you this morning to let you know that um, the person who does the P.O. boxes is not in this week. I think she's on vacation, you think? And, uh, of course, I did not check email I don't know I felt like I checked email this morning but maybe he got me in between you know when I woke up and getting dressed to come here so <laughs> this is becoming a nightmare um anyway I'm gonna probably try one more place fuck this place because they don't have their things together but um I'm gonna try another place um, in between that, let's go ahead and go to Nordstrom Rack and see if we can get these jeans. And that is that. All right, so I got my kind of beefy train back there. I got my pants, so that was good. I ended up um, picking up a couple of other items. My socks are quitters. You know what that is? It's when your socks keep sliding down into your shoes. So my socks are quitters. So I bought um, a pair of socks. I have a million socks at home. That's the sucky part about it. But I'm not going back home. And I can't stand to walk around with socks that keep sliding down into my shoes. So I had to take a moment to, to stop and figure that out. Um, are they open? Oh, snap. I have to walk through. Um, anyway, so I hate that. So I had to do that. Thank you. And then um, I need to be able to, for my photo shoot, I need to be able to brush my hair. And I couldn't find a brush. I don't, apparently I don't brush my hair. So I couldn't find a brush. I had to pick up a brush while I was out. So right now, as you can see, I'm walking through Macy's. It's cold outside, so I decided to walk through. But I also want to stop at um, the Starbucks in here to get a medicine ball before I head over to the UPS store and fight with these people and go over to my photo shoot. Let's see, is my pimple? It looks like the pimple is going down. And let's see, my eye is still a little pink but not as red as this morning. So we're, we're, we're moving in the right direction here. So let's get to it. Let me go get my beloved drink and let's go. How cool is this? I don't think I've seen this. Meet me at the clock. Under the well, oops, meet me under the clock. Oops. How cute is that? I like it. <laughs> I decided to stop and get some fries at Aldi. I have no business getting fries from here, but this is I'm right across the street where the where I was going to run an errand. So I'm getting fries. They have nothing else vegetarian friendly besides fries. That's a shame. I am running super early and that's never, never a thing. <clears throat> My appointment is at one. It is now noon and I am maybe 10 minutes away. So I'm just kind of chilling, eating my fries, so hot. And luckily this, um, I don't know, I'm going to keep this strictly um, chest up type of thing because <laughs> fries before a photo shoot, probably bad idea. Puffy belly and all that stuff, bloated. But um, you can't see bloated from the chest up, can you? <laughs> so 
Anyway, I'm running early. And I have no idea what to do besides ramble on and on to you. Mm. I have some stuff I need to post on social. That's what I'll do. I'll post my outfit of the day. Also, um, Nordstrom Rack, if you didn't know, it's too late by the time you see this. But they have a sweepstakes going on. Where if you take a picture while you're in their store and you post it, hashtag Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack sweepstakes, um, you get put into a drawing for like a $150 gift card. Nordstrom, on the other hand, also has um, something going on. I can't remember when it ends. I feel like I feel like the end of this month too. But you put stuff in your wish list on the Nordstrom website. And then they kind of go through that as your entry. And every week you're supposed to put stuff in there. So it's kind of refresh the entry for the next week. But you can win a $5,000, I think, voucher towards buying the stuff in your wish list. So that's pretty cool. So I've been doing that. Fingers crossed. I'm not lucky when it comes to sweepstakes like that. But I'm very lucky when it comes to those fishbowl um, contests where you put your business card in a fishbowl and they do those drawings. I win. I think I win all of those. <laughs> so anyway, wish me luck. All right. So we're at Mike Watson Studios. I'm about to take my pictures. And um, the eye did not get better. And um, yeah, hair is different. You can come on through. <laughs> hair is different, but um, I'm keeping it simple. No makeup, lip, lip gloss. And uh, this is what the set sort of looks like. That's Mike back there. So um, he got some work to do. Because like I said, don't do the makeup thing. Hair is, I don't know, because you guys know I don't do straight hair. So we're going to figure it out. Finished product, I will share with you when, it, when it's available. But want to just show you the process. So we're about to start the video portion, um, and I'm a natural at that. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so Mike is doing a good job. He's working hard. I don't know if you can see him back there. This is what the set looks like. Um, we're having a good time. I was jamming to my Afro beats. I know he was sick of me dancing. I don't, maybe, maybe not. But um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of feeling the hair, y'all. It's not my thing, but... Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe might be my thing. Yep. And Mike says he can correct all this BS going on. My eye is red, like legit red now. So Mike says he can work some magic with some of this. And I think I told you guys, like, these just started to grow literally on my way over. Like, within the hour of me coming over here, just started to grow. So he has his work cut out for him. Whoa. All right. So... Back to it. All right, the video shoot just ended. Um, I am slightly in a little bit of a pickle. I'm on the west side of Chicago and I need some gas the worst way. And uh, dagnabbit, I don't wanna stop because this ain't my hood. I'm okay with stopping on the south side of Chicago because I'm from the south side of Chicago. That's my peoples, I feel comfortable. So I'm gonna keep it moving. But anyway, that was the shoot. You guys saw a little bit of footage from that. Four hours later, I didn't know it was gonna take that long, but I think it's because we struggled with getting the lighting right. Lighting, cho whoa, lighting chocolate skin is not easy. And for those of you, <laughs> you know, for those of you who watch my videos and you guys see like from one video to the next, like the lighting is just crazy. It may be too bright on one or too dark on another, or I look ashy. It ain't easy. Like I have a I have a professional person doing my my uh, video today, and it wasn't simple. So it's don't take it for granted. So please be easy on me. I'm not a professional, <laughs> and I'm trying to light my skin as well as light my surroundings and light my clothing. And uh, the combination of trying to light all of that and get it all cohesive is not very easy. So that took a while, but once we got it, you know, I did a quick little. A promo video which you guys will see go up on its own on uh, YouTube as my intro on my page um, moving forward instead of the why why I chose the vlog video it'll be this video so um, yeah so I think that's really about it I just wanted to let you know that uh, you know I wrapped up and it was an awesome time 
I will be sharing with everyone the uh, information for Mike Watson Films um, in the comments down below. So, like, if you want to, you know, if you're in the Chicagoland area, you know, even like Wisconsin, Indiana as well, if you're in the Chicagoland area and you're looking to, um, you know, take pictures, do videos, film documentaries, movies, any of that type of thing, um, this is some, that's the, the type of service that uh, Mike Watson does. So anyway, I am about to hit the expressway. I need to focus, so let's do that. So I just got done, oh, my eye is still red. So I just got done cooking dinner. You can kind of see some of it there. Um, cooked HelloFresh. I hate that my eye decided, see how white my eyes normally are? And just when I had to do this photo shoot, this eye decided it wanted to do what it wanted to do. So anyway, just got through cooking. We're going to pick this up tomorrow. This is going to be a long video, but I got a surprise for you guys tomorrow. Yeah, but I cooked dinner and um, let me show you what that looks so like. I cooked this uh, Thai ginger curry thingy, but I didn't put nuts in it because my son is allergic and I didn't put curry because I hate curry and it came out looking like this. So, I mean, I think it's good. <laughs> I think it will be good. I haven't tried it yet, but that's dinner for tonight. So. See you tomorrow morning.